What's up, family? Get on the sport dash winning the Mary Lee. Today is October 30th. Moon Monday, my city, Chicago, 2023. You know, I went to church yesterday, and, you know, my pastor wasn't there. I don't see how, you know, a person can take off when they work for God. Y'all remember the Pope? I forget which one, you know, retired, you know, from his Pope-manship or whatever. <laughs> How you going to retire from God? You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be in there forever. Kind of like the Supreme Court justice people. You understand? Know they usually, you know, I ain't going to say die in office, but that's how it usually go. But uh, anyway, this is this is a serious subject I'm going to talk about. You know, when I was younger, you know, they would never allow me to hold on to any money for no substantial amount of time. You know, my sister, she was getting money to uh, house me and stuff like that, but she only give me $50 a month. And I'm like 17, 18 years old. So I looked at the newspaper, Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, where I'm from, America, Chicago, Illinois. And, uh, you know, I'm about 17, 18 year old looking for work, right? And they, I wanted to be a model at one time. And, you know, I looked, and they said, come on over. Next thing I know, you know, I went over. It was like a stranger danger situation, though. White guy, you know, invited me in, and I'm looking around, and I felt like it was a sticky situation. And sure enough, it was. Next thing I know, you know, I had to do some strange things for a little bit of change, but I did not get the money. He, he said he was going to give me 50 bucks. But when I asked for it, he was like, you ain't getting it. So they wanted me to snap so he could have killed me in his residence and, you know, say probably I'll try to rob him or something. So I left knowing what he was probably thinking with my head held high and, you know, never really talked about it or whatever. But then they made a, a movie called Fame with Irene Cara. And it's kind of like the same thing. You know, everywhere I go, trouble follows me. You understand what I'm saying? So they've been using me a long time. But the main thing I'm proud of is standing up for myself at the age of six in 1973. Now, I'm going to just skip through and, you know, they bothered me so much. I overcame. They took, overcame, they took. And I'm on the verge of, you know, coming up and them taking again. But, um, you know, in 2016, you know, they had me sleeping on the floor at the police station, first district, on Mother's Day. You understand what I'm saying? Because they wanted to usher in all these other people. I guess Africans, you understand what I'm saying, are taking over. All right. I understand. But the best of both worlds in my mind were us coming together. You understand what I'm saying? Not divide and conquer in America. I wouldn't go to your continent, Africa, or whoever, and, you know, do you dirty. So I'm not understanding why you're doing me dirty when I had nothing but the best intentions for you. And I. But anyway, that's another story for another time. Long story short, they took me to the psych ward because I was homeless. Long story. Y'all know by now if you don't. The short version is they took me to a psych ward. I was homeless at the Cook County Jail in my city, Chicago. And, you know, I had 19 years of sobriety. And they shot me with some drugs. And I believe it was cancer. I don't know. I, to this day, I still don't know because I don't want nobody else to take the blame for what they did to me. So, you know, whatever happens is on the people who did it. Long story short, I was sleeping, well, just resting, and I had to cover over my face. And they crept into, an African lady with red hair, crept into my room. And with this correctional officer, and was, you know, had her needle. And she rushed me and held me down and gave me a shot. I wasn't even doing nothing. The camera was right there. I wasn't even doing nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So I have this pole right here. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> On my dough, you know, because I don't want them touching me with a 10-foot pole. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want them touching me and stuff. Now, I don't have, like, a good soul for real, for real. People think, you know, because i am got a good demeanor or whatever and stuff. It's just I work on my anger. And I work on the things that I know you know, would um, hurt somebody else and stuff, you know, out of all the stuff that I've been through, child abuse, you know, drug addiction, abandonment issues, you know, all kind of stuff, right? 
I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate. I have 26 years of sobriety. I don't count the 19 years they try to take from me in 2016. I just chalked that up as that was the devil trying to, you know, knock me off my square. Long story short, it was an African lady. Someone looked like me, but not like me, right? But, you know, we close, right? We still family, right? I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and rescuing for people like you. So why are you coming at me? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Why y'all come to America to mess me around when we helped you all? You understand? I'm not understanding. If you can make me understand that, then, you know, feel free to kill me. But if you wanted me dead, I'd have been dead by now. We need to come together. If not, time is running out. I got this Bible scripture. Like I said, uh, church yesterday, my pastor didn't show up. But this African lady with red hair showed up. I felt like they was mocking me or whatever because, you know, they took the book of Mary out of the Bible and I proved it. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, they want to mock me. Okay, cool. But it was still a lady pastor that was pastoring the church yesterday. So either way, I won. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And the uh, scripture was Isaiah chapter six. So we're going to see what the Africans are really about. This is Second Chronicles chapter 31. I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called, you know, disarming the police officer. You understand what I'm saying? This is 31 and 32. This is on page 328. Coming from behind 82 and 384, 85. The color purple is based on my story, for real. But now Africans have taken over. Okay? So we can do 29. We, we can do 30. We can do 29. 30, 31, and 32. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know what this is going to say, you know, but whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with what I'm talking about. Like always, look, I'm not a bad person. Y'all heard me in 1995 put my voice and everything on three cassette tapes and the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. And y'all ego shrunk. You cannot buy love. You can't buy respect. You, you know, certain things you just can't buy with money. You have to earn that. And if I don't want to give it to you, I'm not going to give it to you. It's real. Just like if I don't want you as a whatever, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? You can't make a person love you. You understand? And uh, I can't teach it to you. So thinking you can just take my stuff and force yourself, my higher power is real. I right? Straight up. So. I know it probably don't sound good and it's not professional or whatever and stuff, but y'all already know I won. Y'all already know. So they got this queen African, the queen African, the African cream. You understand what I'm saying? She's a good singer. She wants respect, but you got to earn it. Now watch. You see how I messed that up? Now, I don't give up. It one thing about me. I don't give up. And the bigger they are, they harder to fall. You know what I'm saying? And nothing fell, right? But I still don't give up. Because I'm going to take this little seven right here. And I'm going to drop it. Because seven is completion, right? You understand what I'm saying? Now, you can be like, well, you still messed up. No, seven is completion. You know what I mean? I don't got to do nothing else and stuff. I already completed my project. I'll tell you what. We're going to go with blind faith like I always do. Because, you know, when you're going up against a giant, it's like David and Goliath. You just got to do you. For real. And this the 10. And this the 13 on my mama. You understand what I'm saying? You just got to do you. Sometimes I... I do other stuff, but then you know you can't you can't beat this. It's Ten City for a reason. Chicago and Mario and um, what's her name? Whoopi Goldberg. Come on now, that thirteen. They was born on the same day. You understand what I'm saying? But that twenty three, that's like Jordan winning a championship. You understand what I'm saying? On my mama. All y'all had to do was stand up. I don't have a malicious bone in my body. But the more you poke the bear, the more you're going to find out who really care. And that's my higher power. And with that, you'll get a news report, man. That's 20 minutes. Good luck to everybody. Peace.